Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice math Olympiad geometry problem. And here we have a nice right triangle in which the length of its sides are 2 to the power of n and its whole square root, 8 to the power of n and its whole square root, and 68 square root. So uh, here you know about uh, uh, the right triangle, the uh, side opposite to the uh, right angle is known as its hypotenuse and the side which join these two angles is known as its base and the third side is known as the perpendicular. So uh, you, uh, you know one thing about uh, the right triangle is that the Pythagorean theorem is also hold in this triangle. So that we have the Pythagorean theorem is stated as hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So if you focus on this diagram, we have our hypotenuse is 68 square root and its whole square and the value of our base is 2 to the power of n and its whole square root plus the value of perpendicular is 8 to the power of n and its whole square root. So now we move forward and uh, we uh, solve this equation and we get the values of n. So if we focus here, these two and square root are cancelled by each other and we get 68 equals to these uh, square and square root are cancelled by each other and we get 2 to the power of n plus here these are also gone and we get 8 to the power of n. And now we uh, rewrite this equation as uh, here we have 8 to the power of n and we write 8 as 2 cubed and its whole power n plus here we have 2 to the power of n and this whole equation equals to 68. And now in the next step uh, we again um, uh, solve this uh, or simplify this equation and here first we interchange these two exponents and we write it as 2 to the power of n and its whole cubed plus 2 to the power of n equals to 68 and now here we take little bit simplification or little bit substitution so that we convert this equation into the cubic form so that uh, here first we take y equals to 2 to the power of n so when we substitute the value of y in this equation then this equation will becomes y cubed plus y equals to 68 and now in the next step, uh, here uh, we use the nice cubic formula in order to solve this equation. So that first we move the 68 in the left hand side and we have y cubed plus y minus 68 equals to 0. So here we rewrite this equation as y cubed plus y we have minus 68 and we write it as minus 64 minus 4 and this whole equals to 0 and now in the next step we make the pair of cubic term and the other term so uh, our first cubic term is y cube and the second cubic term is 64 so we write the 64 as 4 cubed and here we have plus y minus 4 equals to 0. So here we use the cubic formula and we simplify this equation so that we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and we have this plus y minus 4 equals to 0. And now you focus on both of the terms and you see that we have y minus 4 be the common factor. So we take it common and you get y square plus 4 times of y plus 16 and we take common y minus 4 and you get plus 1 and this whole equals to 0. And in the next step, we have two cases here. So our first case is we take y minus 4 equals to 0. And the second case is uh, we take 
वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर वाई प्लस सिक्सटीन प्लस वन इज सेवनटीन एंड दिस होल इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो वी हैव दीज टू केसेज एंड नाउ वी सॉल्व दीज टू केसेज एंड वी फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई सो इन द फर्स्ट केस वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इक्वल्स टू फोर सो दिस इज द आवर फर्स्ट रियल सोल्यूशन एंड नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेजन सो नाउ फर्स्ट वी चेक दैट इज दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेजन हैव रियल रूट्स और नॉट बिकॉज इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ एन सो ऑवर एन बी द साइड लेंथ ऑफ द ट्राई एंगल एंड हेयर वी डील दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन फॉर रियल वैल्यूज बिकॉज एन इन्वॉल्व इन द लेंथ ऑफ दिस राइट ट्राई एंगल सो दैट इट मस्ट बी रियल नंबर so uh, now first we check this equation is real uh, gives us the real roots or complex so that we use here the discriminant formula so in order to uh, use discriminant formula we need to write the uh, exponent of this equation so we have a equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 17 so our discriminant formula written as b squared minus 4 times of ac and first we little bit explain about the discriminant formula if this data gives us uh, its answer is less than 0 it means that this equation has no real roots but if this equation uh, gives uh, uh, this data gives the value is greater than 0 it means that it has two real roots and if this data gives answer equals to 0 it means that it has only one real root so now we check the behavior of this equation by substituting these values uh, in this data so we have our delta equals to b square so the value of b is 4 so 4 square is 16 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 17 so 4 times of 17 equals to 68 and when we subtract these values we have 16 minus 68 equals to minus 52 and it is less than 0 so if our delta is less than 0 it means that it has no real roots so we write here no real roots so that we will reject it this case because we need here only real roots and now we uh, continue or proceed here our first case and in the first case we get the value of y equals to 4 but in the start of the problem we substitute here y equals to 2 to the power of n so now we back substitute this value of y so our y equals to 2 to the power of n and it is equals to 4 so we write it as 4 as 2 square so here bases are same so we uh, after equating both of the sides you get the value of n equals to 2 so this is the our final answer of the given value n so here you have this is n and we substitute the value of n equals to 2 this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos